morning you guys welcome to a new video new series on my channel we are going to call this growing and getting ready i was really inspired by hannah lee she does videos like this all the time and she calls them heart to hannah and they're just basically like unfiltered videos where she's getting ready and talking about something that she's learned in her life or ways in which she's grown and I want to do something a little bit more unfiltered and a little bit more like introspective and serious on my channel not serious but just not so you know me like screaming and stuff all the time because I feel like you guys see like a chaotic busy like kind of everywhere all the time side of me and I thought it would be fun to kind of slow down a little bit on my channel get ready because I don't get ready enough anymore and and just kind of talk about life and things that I'm learning in my, I feel like I'm in my like mid twenties now. So we're gonna keep this pretty unfiltered, not too edited or anything. This is really just like a stripped down version of me as I get ready. So I feel like it's just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> you guys get what I mean, but I'm gonna get ready a little bit more than usual just cause you guys know that like my usual daily makeup routine is literally just like brows and mascara. So I figured this would be fun to encourage myself to get ready a little bit more often and just do something fun. So I'm gonna link everything. I'm not gonna like say all the products I'm using, but I will link everything below that I use in this video. So how about we just get ready? But I need to get ready for the office, so. But I wanted to talk to you today about something I've been learning and thinking a lot. As I grow older, I was listening to a podcast episode from Tess and Busy Blooming. She was talking about like growing pains and I think that is so interesting because that's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately like you know there's a lot of beautiful things about growing up and becoming an adult but there's also I feel like a lot of hardship and realization and like a switch of mindset that you have to make in order to you know really embrace what being an adult is and you're no longer in your like post-grad life but you're really truly learning how to become an adult in this moment and in this time of our lives and my biggest struggle in growing up and like my biggest growing pain is I feel like I am beginning to grow a lot of bitterness in me. Um, I don't really know why I don't consider myself a bitter person. Hold on, my dad's calling me. Okay, excuse me. I just, sorry, my dad just called, but what was I saying? I stopped on makeup because I like actually really want to get ready with you guys so you can see like my routine and everything but um oh yeah bitterness <laughs> yeah I feel like as I get older I and this is something that I want to address and stuff in therapy um when I start that but something I really want to learn as I grow older is how to handle bitterness because I feel like I don't know if it's just me or you know if I'm growing bitter for you know unreasonable reasons but I feel like friendships in my adulthood have to be seen and approached differently than friends post-grad or in college or high school I feel like when we were in college everything was a bubble right so friends were close to you and they were easy and you had a lot of them and I've always, you know, understood that as we grow older, our circle gets smaller. Um, I think I'm just maybe naive in thinking that everyone that's my friend becomes my family. And I have a lot of people that I love like family, but I feel like as I grow older, I'm starting to kind of realize that maybe that's a little bit unrealistic and that not everybody that I get along with so well has to be like family because once they become family, for me, I feel like I just naturally grow some sort of expectation on myself and unfairly on them once, once I feel like we're all close enough to, or once I feel like they're close enough to me to consider them like family because family's really special and I feel like we're really lucky in this life if we have people that we consider like family. And maybe I feel like like I said, maybe I'm just growing to want that so much. Maybe that's just something that I want so much that, you know, I like jump at any chance to, that I get where someone can be added to like my chosen family. But 
I don't know. I think that is something that I've been thinking about a lot lately and I feel like this will be a really big turning point in my growing up chapter of this life. Becoming an adult and really embracing what being an adult is has to mean that maybe some things change and friends are no longer right next to you or so close and you can talk to them as much as you want to but you kind of also have to understand that those friends also have to choose you after college way after college not just one or two years out where it's kind of easy to keep up but three four five years down the line and then eventually ten and stuff you know so I feel like I'm realizing that the circle that I thought was so big is a lot smaller and there's nothing wrong with that and maybe in doing that I'm kind of protecting myself a little bit more from expectations and disappointment and hurt and pain from friends coming and going so that is something that's really been on my mind lately in terms of growing up it's weird because I feel like growing up is something that I've always wanted to do and I've always felt like I was ready to grow up and be an adult and live an adult life and own an apartment, make money, do whatever I want, um, have more freedom and independence. And I guess I'm kind of understanding that all that glitters is not gold and life is hard as an adult and you have to kind of, you know, sometimes make hard decisions. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever experienced this in your mid-20s or if there's something that you're afraid of dealing with if you're not at your mid-20s yet what's something that's on your mind because I want to make this a series where I talk about ways that I've either already grown or ways that I'm in the process of growing so right now I feel like I'm in the process of learning that I need to be a little bit more mindful and smart about the people that I let into my heart because not everybody is worthy of that and there's nothing wrong with a small circle you just kind of have to you know be smart and protect your heart at the same time I feel like I have such an open heart and that's a really good thing but to my protection I feel like that can you know not always be a good thing it's good for all my friends but I want to be smarter and I want to be really mindful and intentional about the people that I consider family and the people that I want to let in like family. In the end, I have an amazing relationship and I feel like my relationship, especially with Thomas, is one that like I know will never change, that will always be my family, at least, you know, outside of my blood family, of course. but. Chosen family is a really interesting concept to me and I feel like having a chosen family is what makes life so worth it once you do grow up and you do have a family of your own and you know eventually like get married and have kids and stuff. What is that family outside of your blood and what is that family outside of your relationship? I feel like that's almost equally as, as important in your life than the relationship that you actually have so I've always told myself that I've wanted a big family and maybe I've been trying too hard to have that and it's just setting myself up for failure because I feel like I keep getting disappointed by friends and I don't know if that's me not choosing my friends right or me unfairly seeing my friends in this light because you know because of my definition of friendship and chosen family and stuff so it's all weird, I think, but I'm trying my best. Where's my bronzer brush? Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna do bronzer because I don't like doing bronzer lately. I just like doing blush and keeping my skin very natural looking. So I really just like to do blush. I don't really even do bronzer lately, but yeah. Okay, I need to get, I need to like speed this up because I need to get ready because I gotta go to the office today. Oh my God, I haven't worn this up. I have not worn this much makeup to the office in so long. I also think that bitterness is sometimes grown even within me with like, you know, having control over my life. I feel like I grow bitter when I feel like I'm out of control or if something's happening to me that I don't like that I feel like 
I can't make better, like it's up to someone else or something higher than me to make it better. So I feel like I just grow, I feel like lately I've just been growing bitterness and I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna live that way. It's like exhausting. <laughs> And I want to feel like I'm putting good energy out into this world, not bad energy. And bitterness is not good energy. That's the thing that's like kind of been weighing on me lately. I feel like I just get so, I so badly seek connection from people, whether it's the people in front of me, like you guys, or my relationship, or my family even. I just feel like I love connecting with people on a deeper level other than just surface and that's kind of why that's kind of why like I said I I feel like I have a really big heart because I love connecting and being more than just a surface level friend that you ask how they're doing I like knowing people and knowing who they are and what makes them them and I feel like that's just such an amazing part of life like knowing that your life is so much more than your own and that you can let other people into your life and just make it one big impactful life. I don't know if that's just me being like a crazy idealistic or like romanticizing what life actually is person. Maybe that's just, maybe that's just who I am, but I feel like I need to be more cautious of, of that mindset that I have. And maybe that just needs to change a little bit so that I don't ever have to feel like, you know, I'm putting expectations on people, which is just not fair. I don't, I shouldn't. And I don't mean to say that I give or, you know, become close with people because I want to have these expectations. I just think it's a natural part of when you do connect with somebody on a deeper level. And, you know, I think you can have expectations to some sense and you hope that your friends have your back and are thinking about you kind of in the way that you think about them. I feel like I think about my friends more than myself sometimes and it's not really the best thing. I think it's good to be giving and caring and loving, but like I said, I feel like as I get older, it makes me a little bit bitter if, or not bitter, but just confused if that's not given back to me because I feel like as you grow more mature, you're more aware of when people give things to you and I guess... I guess people are just more, you know, and I know that selfishness is also something that's very natural and human of us, so I don't know. Those are just things that I've been thinking lately, and I want to tackle it a lot in therapy when I start, and I just think that, you know, navigating friendships and bitterness as we grow older is something that I'm going to have to change my mindset on in order to feel like I'm in a healthy mindset. And I'm really excited. I feel like I'm just really excited that I feel like I have a new part of adulthood that I haven't figured out yet because I like to think that I've had it all figured out and stuff, but it's not true at all. And I think this will help me a lot just in my like mental space to learn how to, you know, redefine friendships as we're older and grow more wisdom that way. So, okay, well, that is everything for this growing and getting ready. I feel like this was a very quick video, but I just wanted to start off this series and talk about something that's been on my mind lately or just something a little bit more deep and serious because I'm sharing my life with you guys, but I feel like I don't have a lot of moments where I can just sit and reflect and think deeper and think more introspectively and things. and. I think when we have those moments and we allow ourselves to slow down and think more, then we just live a more meaningful life. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Let me know what you guys think of this series. I would love to know. If you have any topics that you want me to cover in my next Growing and Getting Ready, then also leave those in the comments. I love you guys so much. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, I see you already.